Thank you, everybody, for joining us. This is our weekday Mass for Friday, May the 8th. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Let's pause and examine our conscience and ask Jesus for his pardon and his peace. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone to the Holy One. You alone to the Lord. You alone to the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, author of our freedom and of our salvation, listen to the voice of our pleading and grant that those you have redeemed by the shedding of your son's blood, may have life through you, and under your protection, rejoice forever unharmed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. from the Acts of the Apostles. When Paul came to Antioch in Pisidia, he said in the synagogue, my brothers, children of the family of Abraham, and those others among you who are God-fearing, to us this word of salvation has been sent. The inhabitants of Jerusalem and their leaders failed to recognize him, and by condemning him, they fulfill the oracles of the prophets that are read Sabbath after Sabbath. For even though they found no grounds for a death sentence, they asked Pilate to have him put to death. And when they had accomplished all that was written about him, they took him down from the tree and placed him in a tomb. But God raised him from the dead and for many days he appeared to those who had come up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem. These are now his witnesses before the people. We ourselves are proclaiming this good news to you, that what God promised our fathers has brought to fulfillment for us, their children, by raising up Jesus as it is risen in the second psalm. You are my son. This day I have begotten you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response, you are my son, this day I begotten you. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. I myself have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. The Lord said to me, you are my son, this day I have begotten you. You are my son. This day I have begotten Ask me, and I will give you the nations for an inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall rule them with an iron rod. You shall shatter them like an earthen dish. You are my son. This day I have begotten And now, O kings, give heed. Take warning, you rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice before him with trembling rejoice. Oh, 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. In my Father's house, there are many dwelling places. If there were not, what I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going, how can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It is so great to see some faces and some moving faces. The faces in there don't move. They don't <laughs> grin, although I can't see some of the grins, but I see some. Um, it is so great for y'all to be here, and we want to thank you for showing up and supporting us. Your spirit is felt and was felt through this, throughout this ordeal and continuing. So thank you for being here. The Gospel today is from the 14th chapter of the Gospel of John. I, re I will be reflecting on the whole chapter to help with this first part. We hear that Jesus is preparing his disciples who've been following him. Imagine the love Jesus had for those disciples who he walked with for three years. When he loved those who hated him, how much more love he loved those who followed him. But the disciples were fearful. The religious authorities were not happy with Jesus, his teachings, or those who followed him. Which is why Jesus started off by saying, Don't let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. But the disciples were scared. They were still in formation. In fact, they were just beginning. Thomas is still asking questions. I'm so grateful for Thomas. Later in the Gospels of chapter 14, Jesus tells them, Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do and will do greater ones than these because I'm going to my Father. You know, they were fearful before, and now they're hearing he's leaving. You think they're scared? But Jesus bold said, I am leaving, and you will do far greater. After I leave, wow, this is bold. He loved them so much that the Father is going to send them the Holy Spirit, the Advocate. I think this is a version of tough love that we might see today, where we might have someone we care for, and the best thing to do is leave them and let them do within themselves. So Christ leaves, but he gifts us with the Holy Spirit. Now they're called to live with the Holy Spirit. We too, brothers and sisters, must live with the Holy Spirit so that we might follow Jesus. We heard, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to me except, no one comes to the Father except through me. Following Jesus is just not another way. Just not a, man, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do my prayer time. In the mornings, I might go to Mass between 9, 10, 11, whatever time they're having, 1 o'clock. Um, it's not an option. Christ is the way. Christ is the truth. And if you want to have life, Christ is the life. There's no other way. There's only one truth, and there's only one life. And that life is with Christ through the Holy Spirit. But why should you follow Jesus, right? 
Well, I'm sure you come to know Jesus. You've had a relationship with him. You fell in love with him. You decided to follow him. You asked to be baptized. And you became a brother and sister in Christ, right? Right? Uh, I didn't come in that way. Somebody baptized me. Somebody stood in for me. We have to own it ourselves now. Like most cradle Catholics, they were baptized young. We have had some who come through RCIA as adults, and it's amazing to walk with them. Uh, we have two uh, statue uh, RCIA team leaders that have built it on campus, John Shackson and Joel Sandridge. They've had the pleasure of walking with adults who say, yes, I want to follow this guy. I want to follow his way. I love this guy. I want to know more about this person, Jesus. We too, brothers and sisters, are called to do the same thing, to own that which our family has baptized, for those who are baptized as cradle Catholics. I need to decide to develop a personal relationship with Jesus. I need to put him first. And when I put him first and guided by the Holy Spirit, I am following the way. We all have different ways that we come to know Jesus. But our relationship with Jesus is 24-7. It's not a 1 o'clock mass, three rosaries a day. It's a 24-7. Just like the marriage with my wife, it's 24-7. It's not, I'm not married to her right now, I'm going to, no, it's 24-7, because we're one. And our baptism, if you want to live out your baptism, requires that you follow the way. So I invite you, brothers and sisters, to pray and ask God for guidance through the Holy Spirit to find out how you're called to follow Jesus in the way, individually, personally. And may we pray today for guidance from the Holy Spirit and the grace as we come together as a community to be more in following his way. And that is my prayer for you and for myself, brothers and sisters, that we pray for the Holy Spirit to guide us so we can continue this journey of Holy Cross, following Christ in the way. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Your goodness we have received, the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands that have become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Your goodness we have received, the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands that have become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, all at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed 
and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You're indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you in need of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. Simmel away when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Douglas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, 
you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Just a little announcement before the closing prayer. Uh, I think the forecast for this weekend is going to be a good forecast. So Saturday, yeah, tomorrow's Saturday. Uh, Saturday at 4 and Sunday at 11, uh, if you can park your cars on this side, and we'll have Mass again on this side of the church, uh, sun, Saturday at 4, Sunday at 11. Um, an idea that we had with the high school graduations and the seniors this year, many of the, their graduations uh, have or virtual graduations, something like that. Uh, we had the idea, since we can have outdoor Masses, that we would have a Mass for the uh, seniors uh, this year. And so we're trying to get a date uh, lined up for that, and we'll publicize it. Uh, so we'll have a, a mass for the seniors that are Holy Cross parishioners, but probably, I'm sure, many of their friends would want to come too. So this would be kind of a, uh, acknowledging them uh, in their senior year. So be looking for the dates. If you know of any seniors, uh, we, we would like to offer a, a mass for them. Okay. Let's stand for the closing prayer. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, 
who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us, the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thank you, everybody, for coming.